Hello and welcome, I'm Bebo Joe and this is a brand new series for Transport Fever 2 where I will attempt the EPAC challenge once again with some extra minute details. So this is the map. We are at a one to five scale. You have to uh, enable experimental map size for this. Uh, it is very large, so it's very long. We are in a dry climate, but on a temperate environment. So we have some green trees and other things there. Personally, I like it. Uh, you don't have to, that's fine. We have about 15 cities, a lot of industries. And the goal is this, EPEC already said that. So every product, every city and the cities will expand to require more um, product depending on where they are. So we're gonna have to continuously expand on that. I'm gonna say, I don't wanna destroy anything. So the whole time we're building, I'm not gonna destroy anything. We have to ship it in the right way. That's the first thing, and hopefully everything grows around us. The second thing is I don't want to expand until I at least have 50% of the city satisfied. That means if they need a lot of fuel, 50% is more the uh, number of supplies. So if they have four supplies they need, I need to give them two supplies plus passengers before I can expand to the next thing. Is it gonna be a handicap? Yes, absolutely, but that's fine. We are in 1980, we're starting with our normal money. Uh, it is on very hard because that's how I like to play. We'll see how much that slows us down. It should be fine because it's 1980 and we can expand and go longer distances a little sooner. So hopefully this all works out and we're all having fun. Um, my hope is this will be a 10 to 20 episode series, maybe a little longer, I don't know yet, but let's get started. If you made it past the intro, thank you very much. This map will be on the workshop, uh, workshop, workshop, um, available for everyone to play. So I uh, hope you enjoy that. I'm gonna start over here. I like strout, 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 um, st st strout. <laughs> don't, don't correct me on the names. I will do what I can, but it will be terrible. Um, and then West Bedlington and Colchester, I can say that word are relatively in a straight line. There's a lot of industries over here that I can have. And the main thing is drought is has a lot of demands already, which is excellent. And to expand into West Bedlington, we have to get three things satisfied. That is passengers and two of the um, materials that they're looking for there. And well, I'm Bebo Joe, so we're gonna concentrate a lot on uh, trains. Um, but because I don't want to destroy anything, we're also going to do a lot with trucks and uh, that type of thing. I will structure this a little bit like a tutorial. I will try to explain things because I know there are always new players uh, that show up. And uh, by not destroying something, I will destroy some streets. If streets are really stupid, I'm not going to destroy that. But I don't want to destroy anything that is part of the city in this case. Crappy street starts here. I can destroy that. Good city street starts here. I cannot destroy that. I hope that makes sense. And I don't want to own any street in the city. Cool. Let's get started. Strout, you would like some construction materials. You know what? No problem. Only six. That's a big problem because that will not give us any money. It will expand really fast, uh, but that's not very good starting material to, uh, to get rolling with. Food is one that I'm pretty sure we, well, we have Colchester. There's a good food factory right here and we could deliver with some trucks. That's not bad. And we have a lot of uh, farms nearby that would actually enable us to do such a thing. But I was hoping that we will start um, with the uh, machines because we can get our wood right here. We have an iron mine and a coal mine sitting right there. We have the steel mill here. We could transport everything from a spot right here to the uh, machines factory right there and then get some boxcars or trucks, I don't know yet, uh, all the way down to Strout. It will cost us a little bit of money, so we have to be a little patient, but I think that's a really good start. Plus, we could even use some extra uh, wood from the sawmill if we wanted to, that'd be crazy because normally um, everything kind of just evens out in the demands and supply. Um, we could go and get some tools from a tool factory. Obviously right now we only need three tools, but once you start delivering something to a city, it grows relatively fast. I'm, again, I'm not 100% sure what the changes are in the current beta. I just know that there was one out and they had some performance improvements and that always helps me because once we get to episode 15, this may be a slideshow and I hope it's not this time. Cool, let's get started. We are paused, uh, that's very important. I, I, honestly, I'm gonna keep our date speed also paused because I have no interest in advancing too fast. I like the diesels, I like the couple 
um, previous machines that we still had left from before. So yeah, let's get started with these trains. This distance is extremely short, which is actually a very good thing. This distance is actually probably long enough to either put a truck there or oh, oh, this is this is a perfect, perfect environment. I think we're going to start right over here. Contour lines are your friend because everything um, that you have to do uh, <laughs> requires money. And if you don't have to go over mountains, that is a lot cheaper than anything else that you could do. So this is a really good uh, line to start with. And we have the coal mine sitting right here, which this is uh, a steel mill, which requires a one to one, well, two to two um, items per production. And the 200 items that we have here actually can produce the uh, 100 items of steel that we need for machines. We obviously need also uh, wood. And for that one, I forgot this, this is also a two to one ratio, uh, which one forest will get us there right away. Uh, but then on the way back, we can actually get some uh, some other material to the sawmill, which will be really, really good for everything that we want to do. Honestly, I may not even use this forest right away. We may add a truck route later on. Uh, but to begin with, that may not be the best way because if you can run your train very full most of the time, that is a lot better for everything that you may want to do. Okay, let's get moving. Uh, first thing, hopefully we'll make some money here, otherwise this is going to be a very short series. We need a cargo station. I will not, just today, I will not play um, with a single depot. I do believe it is a very fun way to play. I don't believe it is uh, super conducive to very fun gameplay watching experience, so I'm not going to make you sit through that. I hope that makes sense. Um, I'm going to give myself a little bit of road here. Why? Because if I want to get some trucks in here, they have to go somewhere, and getting a couple of tentacles here makes the connection just a, a smidge easier uh, like this. I'm going to point you um, a little bit to... Uh, to the left because there is a the tiniest of mountain right there i'm actually going to go over here 238 uh, 190 yeah we're going to save money left and right i know it probably doesn't matter after the first episode but uh to get started we do have to save some money and i'm okay with doing just that okay so we have the first train station right here that is going to deliver coal and iron out to this place now this place we do have to decide do we want Oh, and this is dangerous. Why is that dangerous? Uh, because if we deliver straight from here, we get paid as the crow flies. The crow flies from here to there. Um, that means we're not going to get a lot of money if we deliver steel straight from here to there. So what we really need to do is get our steel out to the sawmill over here, because then as the crow flies, we get paid from there to here. Well, the station, wherever that is. And then again, from here to uh, the machines factory. And that should give us a lot of money. We are playing on hard, so we gotta keep uh, all of that in mind. And looking here, this is at least relatively flat, so I think that's all very doable. So this will be our first um, small hub that we that we wanna build, that we wanna plan with. That means I have to figure out where I'm gonna put my first uh, station uh, for the steel mill because we're gonna get some large hopper trains in from over there, and then a stay car train has to go through here um somehow as well so let's see how we can how we can manage that i am not the biggest fan of direct routes let's make this three give you 240 meters sure um just to get started i'm gonna angle it like so i'm actually gonna add the, the same road that i added on the other side just because i need a better access point yes i can spend a little bit of money on that that's totally fine there you go now i can actually get the connection to the outside and we could delete some road here and make uh, make that all work and make it look prettier. I This is not the best way to go, but I will... That's not the delete button. <laughs> uh, let's delete these couple roads. Uh, and sorry if you thought that I meant that I'm not going to delete any roads. Um, I'm going to delete just not nothing in the city. Um, yeah, we're going to delete that. And then this one can also be deleted. There's no direct connection to a city somewhere, so this should be easy. Do I want to... Add another road piece here. There are some tentacles that we can get. Um, I think that will be useful. 20,000, sure, there was a little bump in the road, which I didn't like. 
a curved road right here to get that one uh, kind of connected and then we can get rid of this ugly little piece and we'll we'll, we'll connect that road uh, somewhere later on I just don't know where yet um, but yeah let's get another train station right in here turn you around again until you somewhat aligned with what's going on over here that is a million are you sure you want to spend that much well we don't really have a choice unless we build no that's still a million this is also a million this is also very far down let's look at our you don't have to build this yet you can actually start making money without building this thing you're right okay we we do need money so um that's the path that we're going to take uh i do think i forgot to make this one a little longer it's currently what is the standard length 160 meters i don't think that will be long enough um but we will figure that out no we're going to do that right now Let's configure you, platform, uh, cargo platform. These are 40 meters long, so 200, 240. Now it matches what the other side was having. Uh, we're gonna electrify it right away because I am not sure um, what train I'm actually gonna put on here. So we're gonna we're gonna figure that out rel relatively fast. Um, and then let's build some track. Um, High-speed track? No, this is a cargo train. We're not gonna need high speed for a very, very long time. Um, we, we chose this because we know there's not a lot of height difference that we have to worry about. So we're going to start going somewhat straight here. And I can tell that, yeah, this is this is pretty much flat, which is perfect. This is really flat. This is pretty much flat. <laughs> so um, that's nice. Now we're going to make sure that our speed stays at 120 um, if we can. And we want to head just around this guy. And yeah, keep it keep it nice and flat. You can use M and N to modify uh, your your height, like this one. You could go M, and it could save us a little bit of money. But then you have a dip in your train route, which uh, may slow your train down, especially with a lot of gondolas attached to you. That may not be the best approach. Uh, and then the approach. Speaking of approach, haha! <laughs> what a what a what a uh, transition. Um, on the approach, you generally don't have to worry about speed too much. Like 68, that's fine. A train that comes in here has to slow down, but also has to, um, well, accelerate first. So that's not instantaneous. There's a little bit of a swan neck here, but if the train appreciates that, then we will be okay with that for just right now. Great. Uh, Building-wise, let's build our uh, depot, and I'm going to put it off to the side just a tiny bit why because there is a chance that we may deliver some stuff from here to Strout to the city uh, I don't know that yet but if there is a need for that we, we're prepared and I don't have to uh, tear down the the depot right away but we'll just see how this works cool first one is set up what rate do we need do we need double tracking honestly this is going to be a relatively simple uh, track to start with and at some point I'm going to add some double track right here somewhere in the middle where the trains can actually pass each other smartly uh, and that should take care of everything that we want them to do so I think we are good there we're going to start our first train setup are you ready we spent only one and a half million that's I'm proud of myself because that other train station is 800,000 when we get there what should we use we have so much I really like the diesels um, this one could work. We we do have a relatively far distance. This one is by far one of my favorite trains. Uh, the BR218, yeah, you're nice. We are playing with all vehicles, which means there are no EPEC achievements achievable because they have their reasons. Uh, 80 is too slow. 105, this 105, this 105, or do I want a 140? I don't know that I can get up to 140. It is flat and straight. We can get up to 140, and speed should be a good thing for what we're doing here. So that's our train, uh, the BR218. I'm happy that we don't need to worry about refueling these guys, but that's, oh, well, that's that's all good. Uh, Gondola, yeah, this one. This is the American version, right? Uh, this is the European version, or this is the American version? I like the American one. Okay. One, what, what, what capacity do we need? It's been so long since I played this. It's probably been a year and a half. Uh, capacity we need something that makes sense we need to move 400 units of goods that's what we want because we need 200 units of coal and 200 units of iron so let's see what we can get here uh can we get up to and we would like this to stay in the good range and we would like this number to stay within the 240 uh, meters that we have available we are spending all our money so uh, you are a little crazy but maybe this is good 
we could find a cheaper train just to get started uh, because 90 is not bad uh this one the 100 may also not be bad because now we have a little bit more room for um for buying something else later so we're just gonna start with this and then um thank you autosave i really probably needed you just now uh before we actually do something but uh new line please yes you will go from down here and uh this is important make sure you tell it to wait until uh full because if you don't empty trips are not gonna make you money and that's that's a bad thing uh, in and all but uh, in and by itself so you can load a full i would actually love it if we can um is there not a unload everything button Ah, oh, lame okay um, I would like to get 50% coal and 50% iron. That makes all the others I don't care about. But those two, um, if they can stay like that, that'd be great. And after that, go over to this station and obviously unload. And for that one, we don't have to tell you anything. And I don't actually um, full load, full any. I can't even tell you to unload. That's fine. Um, but there you go. This we can call. Um, this is the coal no this is the hopper one very simple right <laughs> cool uh what's the color of a hopper one car it is black obviously because um well black and orange make black <laughs> if you have enough black there you go um we have that one set up um the train should actually be part of that route yet nope nope yes uh where where's my train are you getting out of the out of the thing did i send you there he is! Look at that, first train. Yeah. Let's enjoy this guy. You, you have to look at the first train. Does this one fit? I think it'll be fine. Okay. Uh, we're not going to play on two speed for too long, but we got to start with that. And Hopper 1, what is your guess? 180. So, if we manage this vehicle and uh, adjust it a little bit and give you one more cargo wagon what is our capacity this one please for 1 million you are effectively 200 that is excellent because now we know we can just duplicate this train which we don't have the money for right now sorry i looked at the wrong thing our rate is 372 that is what's important our cargo number is just what this train can handle uh, in one run and that is just below 400 so if we increase that just a little bit we don't even need a second train to go here 406 that is perfect that can do everything that we want. Uh, we're gonna pause here because, and I'm fighting with myself. Do I want a truck to handle this or do I want a train to come in here? Right now, we do have um, a loan that we can that we can borrow up to 100 million. So we have 7 million in the bank, but this is not a high yield um, return. So I don't really wanna waste money on that. What I do wanna waste money on is configure this guy, give me a cargo building. Uh, a smaller one is fine, something like this. Then give me a um, cargo terminal, honestly, just something small. Even a truck unloading stop will be fine. So how about we just do that? I, I usually don't do it this way, but there's nothing that these guys will ever have to transport from here. So if we do this, do I want a bigger road? Uh, this one can go 80, this one can go 30. Yes, this is actually going to be used for driving. Uh, if we want a bigger road, like that, uh, we're just going to make a semi-cul-de-sac here. Is it a cul-de-sac? It's not a roundabout that I'm trying to say. Uh, you can go over here. That looks good. You can come around here, and hopefully we can make them actually take um, this trip. And then, yeah, they can just stop right here. We want them to drive on the outside so they don't cross anything. There's a bus stop. Oh, sorry, truck stop. It'll be nice and cheap. Uh, it shouldn't cost a lot of money. And these roads, this road right here, looks like you don't have a speed limit that I like, is it? Is this track speed? Um, <laughs> I can't get track speed on here. Cool. Oh, that's interesting. Um, yeah, we can put a traffic light there if we really feel like it. And I could own this or not own this or lock it or whatever, whatever that's called. Um, wasn't there a speed limit here at some point for roads? Apparently not. That's fine. Um, we're just going to assume that this is the uh, crappy road that we don't actually want. Or this one, 60. 60 may be okay. I have to look what trucks we have available to do uh, whatever mischief we're going to do next. Alright, buildings. 
uh, truck station. We only need one platform. I don't really necessarily care which side you're on. Yes, I do a little bit. If we put it on this side and turn you around like this, uh, the trucks have a tiny bit further uh, to um, to bundle up, to stack. <laughs> no, to, uh, to queue. Yes, to queue. That is the right word. Um, so that is fine. I will give you that little extra street connection right here. Nice curvy. Very good. And depending on what trucks we can use, uh, we may increase our something. <laughs> Speed limit. Yes, that's that's what we're going to call it. Uh, Road Depot. Yeah, uh, 12,000. That sounds good. Let's talk to you. What do you have? I would like cargo truck. I would like we have one big truck, all cargo. Carrying coal with this does not sound right. I have not seen this one, the tarpaulin. Um, There's a coal truck, like it. You can carry 21 and you can go 80 kilometers. That tells us I have to upgrade the roads. That's fine. Uh, we're gonna get, I don't know, let's start with eight. That may be too much. Okay, start with four. Okay, two million, we still have that, that's excellent. We're gonna take all of these and make a nice new line from here uh, down to here. <clears throat> We're going to call this Hopper, <clears throat> Hopper, One, Full Supply. Easy. Sometimes I try to separate them saying, Hopper, this is a rail or train or cargo train, and this is a road connection, but honestly, that's just going to get confusing and funny, and we're not going to do that. We're also going to make this black just to signify that they are very similar. Um, and then we're gonna un... well, we're gonna let this run again, obviously, but streets, yes, upgrade, very good. You need to be faster because we do need this to be 80 kilometers per hour. It's a relatively short trip, so I feel pretty good about not using, um, right, 300. It's a little too much, actually. <laughs> we will need an extra truck, but for right now, uh, go to depot, please. Um... Yeah, later on when this one, when the when the industry expands, actually will never expand, but right now we only need 200, uh, not 400 units. Honestly, we can probably, we, huh. <laughs> I think we can just, um, yeah, we'll just assign this one. Because we can actually move all 400 units, they will just stack up at the uh, rail cargo station for a little while. But there you go. You can make us some money now. Very good. We have 5 million in the bank and we have iron sitting here. Um, perfect. So we have a excellent first route uh, ready to go. This will be steel. Okay. Deep breath. First thing. I would. Do you think we're going to get the first delivery done to the city today? No. I would like to keep these episodes a little shorter, which is also why we're going to say this is the starting point of what we're going to do. Uh, next time, we will... Uh, hook on to the machines factory 100%. We will also connect to the sawmill and make a very profitable, potentially profitable route to Stroud to get our first connection in right there. Um, and once we have that, I guess food is our next target, but we do need to make some money for that. So uh, hopefully that all works out in our favor. Thank you very much for watching. Where's our train? We would like to ride along on it just for a second. And then obviously this may stay a, um, a diesel train route and we don't have, we don't need this catenary stuff sitting around it, but um, we'll figure that out next time. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you again next time. Bye-bye. Wait, you can, you can do this, right? Isn't there a camera mode? Yeah, this is the one. And then you move out here. You look at the train, something like this. Ah. Oh. Yeah, good stuff. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.